Today, I'm making the journey from Kathmandu to Pokhara by car with the goal of seeing more of what Nepal has to the offer. After in taking in the sights, sounds and salivating tastes of Kathmandu, yeah. Buffalo Mamos, the time has come to understand this beautiful country on a deeper level by visiting one of its most loved towns. So I packed my bags and got ready for one epic road trip full of bumpy roads, incredible scenery and friendly people. Today we head to Pokhara. Or is it Pokhara? Pokhara or Pokhara? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> By the way, if you want the same drive that we're doing, I'm gonna leave it in the description bar below. I've not been feeling well lately, so I apologize if I'm a little bit less energy than usual. I think you can tell from my voice. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So you have the vehicle, right? Go to Pokhara? Yes. Oh, are you a driver? Yeah. I'm just gonna walk to get some coffee. Would you like anything? Yeah, okay, yeah. You want coffee? No, I already did one. I already Okay, did. I'm gonna walk, I'll be back five minutes. I'll be back. You sure you don't want coffee? No, okay. I'm hardly ready. Okay. <laughs> it must be built different here. I need coffee to survive. <laughs> so I've loved Kathmandu, like a lot. So I have really high expectations and high hopes, but I'm also gonna love Pakara. I'm excited to get there today. It's about a six hour drive, but they said it can be up to 10 if there's traffic. So let's hope we don't get traffic. Oh, it gets worse now? Yeah. We're heading to um, Pokhara today. Do you say Pokhara or Pokhara? Pokhara. 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 Uh, Pokhara. Pokhara. Okay, Pokhara. Just um, four. Just four. Four? four. And you might see us back here. We might come back. Yeah. You're well, <laughs> most welcome. Thank you. All right. Yeah. We're doing YouTube video. Is that okay for you? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good to go now. What's your name? My name is Deepak. Deepak. Yes. Josie. Yeah, it's nice. Nice <laughs> to meet you. You too. We're on the way there and like I said, it's a long drive, but I'm excited to see how another part of Nepal looks to Kathmandu because I've loved it here. The vibes are so nice. So we've just stopped for some fuel and uh, he was telling us that it's normally about a six hour drive, but they're doing construction to the roads. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it might take anywhere up to about seven or eight hours um, while the roads are still being um, construction. So he said there's a Nepali highway, which is the one we're already on. It's a windy road, apparently. That's also why it takes longer. It's not a straight road. So we might be in for a, uh, <laughs> a long day. Hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Oh, start the snake road now. Yes. Oh, yeah, see. As we covered the crazy turns of the snake roads leading out of Kathmandu, I was glad to be in the safe hands of Deepak on this epic journey. Drive carefully, okay? <laughs> I saw the side then, it was very close. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, I'm safe, good. Don't do it. Safe with you. Yeah. Okay. Holy guacamole. <laughs> we like music, Nepali? Yeah, you can put music on. So this part is super, super bumpy and there's a whole bunch of construction going on. He's told us as well that they're building a tunnel which we can see being built over there. Um, so you can go underground in the future to Nepal, which will be really cool. But to, oh, to Kathmandu, <laughs> but right now the roads are bumpy. The roads are basically rocks at this point, so it's a very bumpy drive. We got stopped. <laughs> License and registration, please. <laughs> By the way, if you're in Kathmandu and you want to go to Pokhara, I'm going to leave the link where we booked this car in the description bar below so you can use it as well. So we're still on these windy roads. It's really been about an hour and a half since we left and we're kind of going through these hills and then there's little towns or villages as we go and we kind of go through the villages and then there's more of like nothing besides amazing scenery and amazing views and then you come through another little town or village kind of like this just a couple of houses here and there it's beautiful here it's it's stunning there's like pebbles rice paddies kind of like barley like it's it's awesome all right so we've stopped at our first stop um, it's been probably almost two hours now. Oh. Yeah, about two hours. It is quite dusty actually. I think because of all the construction on the sides of the roads, a lot of the dust has been swept up into the air almost the whole way. I think we're gonna grab some food here. Uh, you drink the coffee, I will a little bit something there. Uh, okay, yeah. No breakfast. Uh, yeah, neither. <laughs> 
Yes, please. Yeah. Can you have a menu? Yeah. Me to get the toast or share. Could I please get the toast with jam? Thank you. So we've got some breakfast food because um, we haven't had breakfast yet. We've got a pancake and just a bit of toast with jam to share and a about a 2 out of 10 coffee. <laughs> that is the end of lunch or breakfast. Breakfast. Technically we'll, breakfast. We'll, we'll, we'll. Good? Good. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Definitely reminding me of Lao. We drove a car, we hired a car and drove it and it's definitely giving me those vibes like seeing the nature like this and like the things on the side of the roads but also the bumpy road has the same like mountainous um, vibe but more creeks here, more overhanging bridges, more like rice paddy or rice field. It's, it's crazy. Everywhere you look there is beauty to be seen in Nepal. You just can't keep your eyes off this magic. Well, some of us can, I guess. He always sleeps on car rides. I don't know how he does it. Oh, a ra raft, yeah, like river rafting raft, river? Yeah, yes. Very famous in the world. What's yeah. it called? Trisuli River. Trisuli River. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> come from, this is a Langang range. Okay. Coming up to a bridge now. I haven't actually gone over many of them yet. It's like a one, one way thing, so you have to like wait for the other cars to pass through. But wow. Well. I'm watching my show and I'm watching something with my headphones, but I'm always picking up, looking around like a little meerkat, looking at the <laughs> mountains and the terrain the road and what's around me because it's absolutely stunning you think that you can't see anything better then you go and drive for five more minutes and then something else beautiful turns up as well on the side so it's a very enjoyable ride with the scenery the winding roads took us deeper and deeper into the heart of Nepal and with each kilometer passed the views became more and more iconic from flashy and decorated buses, ferrying tourists and workers across the country to Nepal's iconic suspension bridges, it truly is a magical place. So there's a cable car over that side that goes all the way up to a Hindu temple, um, Deepak was telling us. And there's like a couple of like advertisements placed on the side of the hill as well. It's probably prime advertisement space, isn't it? Just car, like two car lane sometimes maybe one car um, some of it's a little bit bumpy but most of it's really flat it is a lot easier than the one from Lao telling me as well one of these rivers come from up in the mountains I'm pretty sure um, from yeah. trekking all rivers do all rivers most rivers come from a higher are we like halfway you reckon halfway uh, halfway yes yeah the road is uh, starting in the dancing road oh okay. it gets worse now yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So he said it would start to get worse from here on in and it's basically hit a part where there's... Oh, okay, now it feels like wow. <laughs> hit a part where there's no pavement or asphalt. <laughs> um, and now it's just basically a dirt road. There's actually so much dust kicked up in the air from all of the people in front of us that sometimes you can't even really even see. I am trusting this man with my life. <laughs> I reckon the second half is going to take even longer. It's... um. One o'clock, almost in the afternoon, which means we've been going for about four hours. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Hit the camera. Yeah, good sleep tonight. <laughs> for you too. <laughs> Coming up to hour number five on the journey, just dirt road and rocks, and then we can kind of come out onto a little bit of pavement for a while and we kind of go back onto the rocks. So we are coming up on the, I think, six hour mark now of being in the car. The roads are still 
rocky and not paved and we're still bumping around like a martini in a glass but um, we are closing in on Pakara. If you haven't seen Kathmandu before, if you're interested in seeing Kathmandu, I'm gonna leave my video from Kathmandu on the screen so you can watch that as well or down below. I'm excited, obviously the next video is gonna be in Pakara. so if you wanna see another, another part of Nepal as well, make sure you subscribe to see the next video. So roughly six and a half hours to almost maybe seven hours and we're about six kilometers from Pakara. Yeah. Since we're so close to Pakara now, we're just trying to find our hotel <laughs> so we can get dropped there. Yes, we have the steep number. Now we're starting in the Pokhara. Now we're in the Pokhara. Um, the... Woo! Okay, okay, we are here. Oh my. I didn't realize how dirty the car was. And look what I just got. I just got this on my. I didn't realize how dirty the car was. <laughs> Look at all the dirt! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. You're driving back now? Yes. Okay, good luck. Safe drive. So he has to drive back to Kathmandu now? Yeah. He said he's going back. Wow. Yeah. Look, if you're needing to do that drive, definitely book his tour. We'll put the thing in the description, please. Because he deserves that. Exception two. Michael, wow. yes. Michael. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's four o'clock in the afternoon, which means it took about seven hours. 8.30 to 9. Yes. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, about seven and a bit hours. Apparently that's good time. <laughs> laundry bag is in the cupboard you can put down and call us again. Michael accidentally booked a twin room but they were nice enough to give us a double room with a double bed even though it booked a different type of room but we still booked a deluxe room and both pictures have a full view of the lake which is what I thought we were gonna have with, the, with, like, a balcony. with like a balcony and a lake and everything like that and I thought we we're gonna have you can see the lake from here but it's not as nice as sit on your balcony but it's not and then no it's not like it's your balcony and then you go over this side and you've just got sort of the busy street. I mean, I know it's not a big deal, but I was kind of looking forward to seeing the actual lake. So let's see if they have a deluxe room on the other side. Get out of the hospital, yeah. All right. Come get our stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, she was really nice. She said, yeah, that's the room we gave you, but it had the twin beds and then you said you wanted a double bed. And I said, I didn't know that meant we wouldn't get the view. So she yes. was like, come down. So we have to go back down. Back down to two? Yeah, that's the, the level the room's on. Yeah, the lift's dead. Okay, let's go down the stairs. No lift. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. I didn't know that that meant we wouldn't get this one. <laughs> Feels like I'm covered in dirt. So now we have a twin room, but we have a view of the lake. Much nicer with like the uh, mountains in the background and stuff. Looks absolutely beautiful. And um, that's the reason why we actually booked this place um, and we paid for it. I'll just leave it in the description by where we stayed, but we get some space for two cheery nights. Yes. In the twin beds. I won't kick the bed in the middle of the night again. He was doing that all last night. He kicked the, he randomly would kick the bed like four times and woke me up every time. And I was like, stop. And you're like, sorry. And, and then you kept doing it. You can see people on the lake, on the little houseboat pontoon things. Oh, wow. So they must float out there and you can sit and kind of eat and do whatever you need to do. All right, so we have our twin beds here, our balcony there with this view of the beautiful lake and mountains, two seats, a TV right at the end of the bed, which is helpful. An air conditioner somewhere blowing on me. Hopefully that gets cold real quick. A small little place to work. Not really usually as big as we like want or need, but that's okay. A bed and then we have a bathroom. Oh yeah, pretty standard wet room. How much? About 30 USD a night. So about 50 Australian we about pay? 52 Australian, yeah. 52 Australian. All right, you are coming with me and we are going out to see if we can grab a coffee from somewhere around Pakara and just have a quick walk around the street because obviously I haven't been here yet and I don't know what is really around us. Hi! <laughs> I don't really know what's here yet, so let's have a look. 
It's starting to become nighttime because obviously we got here quite late. It's about 5.30 now. It's a cool little town. So like I said on the way, if you want to take the same booked trip or same car trip that we did, I'm going to leave the description below. The same trip that we took in Laos, the same amount of hours, basically the same amount of kilometers, was a hire car for $580. And then the petrol on top of that was like 100 bucks. So it was like $680. Um, this one isn't cheap, but it's like... I don't know, a quarter of the cost of that or a third or something. So it was definitely worth the money for us. And also about half the cost of flying here as well. Obviously it takes more hours to get here, but I'll just link it down below if you're interested in getting from Kathmandu to Pokhara. Pokhara. <laughs> I'm still having trouble with the name. Okay, and it's starting to rain. I waited there and I ordered some food to take away. Now, this is making me so excited because this little town looks so cute there's like an array of different cafes restaurants so i can't wait for tomorrow where we explore more of pakara forgot to tell everyone you're sick so i went to get you food thank you <laughs> now what happened <laughs> why were you gone so long yes i can pass you the mess after seven hours on the road i'm so happy to be here it's truly amazing to be in this beautiful town after hearing so much about it I'm already loving the okay. laid back vibes, the friendly people, and I can okay, see how much fun you. we're gonna have here. In the next video, we'll tackle some of the biggest sites in the city, overcome some personal struggles, and meet some friendly locals to hear their stories of life in Pokhara. Make sure you subscribe and pop the notification bell on to see my reaction to this beautiful city. See you in the next one.